May 1942. The USS Yorktown limped into Pearl Harbor, torn, smoking, nearly dead. Just days earlier, she'd been mauled at the Battle of the Coral Sea. Her decks were ripped open, her engines crippled. Experts said she needed three months in dry dock. America gave her three days. Day and night, thousands of workers swarmed her hull welders, sailors, carpenters, men who hadn't slept in two days. Sparks rained like stars as they patched steel, rewired systems, and hauled ammunition back aboard. The air reeked of sweat and salt and burning metal. Seventy-two hours later, the Yorktown raised anchor, barely seaworthy, still scarred but alive. She steamed toward destiny. When Japanese scouts sighted her at Midway, they were stunned. Impossible, one officer said. We sank her. But she was there fighting, burning, striking back the ghost ship of Midway. And for those who fought aboard her, every rivet, every weld, every hour of sleepless repair became something greater than metal. It became proof that willpower can bring a warship back from the dead.